My name's Elizabeth Edwards. I'm a singer-songwriter from the San Francisco Bay Area. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I write music about recovery, um, and um, I, I was asked to uh, be part of this today, and I, I want to put a message in a song, which I've done, and I'm going to play it for you guys. I wrote a song for, for you, for this event, for us, um, because I, as I was thinking about this, I, we originally were going to be at the Lincoln Memorial, and I was thinking about this song, and I was thinking about what I wanted to do, and I, I, I recognized that there's another wall over there with names on it. And they're names from a war that had a lot of stigma attached to it. And I thought, wow, we have a wall of names, and we're in a war. And it, there's a lot of stigma attached to the war that we're in. And as I was thinking about that, I was thinking about you guys, and I was thinking about it, the fact that it was the parents and the families of those that who passed and died during the Vietnam War that went out and protested on this very mall that ended up getting the government's attention and stopping that war. It was the parents and the loved ones, the, the, the people just like you. And I started thinking about that. And I started thinking about my brother who died with a, you know, a terrible cloud over his head. He committed suicide after years of struggle with a heroin addiction. He left two children who are now adults who never knew him. That still hurts. I got to get sober. I'll have 29 years, God willing, on the 13th of October. Thank you. Recovery does work. It does work. Stigma kills. Stigma kills people. Why is it that when somebody has a disease like cancer, they get help, but with a disease like addiction, we throw them in jail? The war on drugs is an absolute failure, and our children and our family members and our loved ones are the casualties of that war. They are the casualties of that war. Not all of them, hopefully, not all of them. Um, but hopefully, we, you know, we make progress. Um, so as I sat down to write this song, and this will be the first time I've played it publicly, um, and I'm hoping I can get through it without crying. <laughs> it's hard to sing and cry at the same time. Um, I thought about the, the fact that it is very difficult to live life chemically dependent. I do know that. You have to work really, really hard to get your chemical to fix your body every day. And sometimes you have to do it several times a day. It's a very difficult thing to live with. And it's a struggle every single day that you're in the addiction. And I also recognize that some of the people, many of you are here because somebody has died, has moved on to the gray beyond. And you're still here probably wondering what's the meaning and what's the message in that life. And I, I believe that a hero is somebody who inspires others to their greatness. I kiss the freckles on your face. I kiss the freckles on your face. I put your photo back in place I take you everywhere I go And I tell everyone I know That you'll always Always be my hero every tear I've cried so I'll work with faith and pride and you'll always be my hero and if they need someone to blame I won't let them bury you in shame cause they're not standing in our shoes 
with a fate no one would choose. And you'll always, you'll always be my hero. You're worth every cheer I've cried. So I'll work with faith and pride, and you'll always be my hero. Thank you.